Hello, this is Brother Andrew with eLearning Brothers. So I'm excited to talk to you about the new responsive mobile design capabilities of Captivate 8. Uh, it's just launched, it's coming out now, and the new feature around mobile design is amazing. So we've been building a lot of uh, mobile content lately with Captivate 8, and it's a great tool and it's, it's unlike anything that I've seen out there right now. So in fact, there's just one word that I have for it, and it's not fantastic, it's captastic. All right, so let's talk about this. So you'll see here I have a project open in Captivate 8. And to begin, you come up here to File, New Project, and you'll see a new option here called Responsive Project. And once you start that, one of the first things you'll notice, there are these three icons up here. One is for Primary, this one's Tablet, and then Mobile. And these are three breakpoints. And what they allow you to do is to come out here and transition and see how your content will respond between the three breakpoints. So if I click on tablet, you'll notice that my content moves and it scales. And if I click on mobile, you'll see how it responds all the way down to that size as well. Now you can actually grab these and move them around and define the size and the width of that particular device. So now you can design content for any size of device. So let me talk to you about how these breakpoints work a little bit. So what you can do is you can go in here, let me go over to primary, and your content will actually scale and move between these two breakpoints. However, when you get to tablet, you can say, you know what, at this point, I want to completely change the content. You can see, you can change the sizing of things. You can see I got rid of the actual image here and I made it, made these boxes a little bit bigger and wider. And then you can say, you know what, when I hit a 360 width for mobile devices, let's go down to that, it changes even more. You can change the text and have different text than you had on the other views. Made these buttons a little bit wider. I threw stuff off to the side here. You can see everything within this box, this mobile you know, device height, that's actually what the user will see. So this is not just scaling your content. This is actually not only scaling and moving content, but then at different breakpoints, actually changing that content, changing text, images, pictures, whatever you want to. And you can add new stuff in here and you can click, you can right click on this and you can go over here and say exclude from other views. So you can have unique content on different devices. All right, that's pretty exciting. Uh, let me also show you how you can come up here to this preview. You can say let's preview the next five slides. So we'll run that. Now this preview is unique because you can actually go and click between the three breakpoints and see how your content behaves. All right, so you see here I'm in the mobile. I can click on tablet, and then you can click on primary. So you can see all of your content there within the preview mode. All right, let's close that. All right, so the last thing I'd like to point out here quickly is, is the publish. So when I come up here to publish, I'm just publishing four devices. Come out here, you can see it's HTML5. You can turn on and off the mobile gestures. So if you want the user to be able to do the different mobile gestures in your course, you can turn that on. And basically it's one publish. So there's now a tool where you can come in here, you can build it one time for multiple devices. You can also come in here and you can kind of scrub this back and forth. Maybe you know your devices are exactly, you know, I don't know, 440 width you can see exactly what that content will look like for those devices. So you can now build content for every device. You can go in there and have unique content. You can quickly preview what that looks like, all HTML5 based. We will be creating some how-to videos and tips and tricks and get into a lot more details here in the next few days. So be looking for some new videos.